Hi guys, um, welcome to a very short tutorial where I will try to explain the, con the connection between alkalinity, pH and the buffer capacitor. So let me do a little uh, try to explain this. Alkalinity first, we all know that that is the capacity of the water to absorb hydrogen ions. All ions in the water that has the possibility to absorb a hydrogen ion contributes to the alkalinity. We knew that the alkalinity in marine water, contribution to that is mainly from the hydrogen carbonate and the carbonate. So the sum of the hydrogen carbonate and carbonates, that will be the total alkalinity or the carbonate alkalinity. It's almost the same. And these ions has a capacity to absorb and hydrogen ions. And now you wonder, why is not the pH a straight line as long as we have alkalinity in the water? If I add a hydrogen ions to the water, why don't that immediately absorb by the alkalinity and thus the pH will not change anything as long as we have alkalinity in the water? And the answer is, the alkalinity works different at a different pH. Look at this. The brown one on here is the alkalinity. All these are on hydrogen carbonate or on carbonate ion. These are the sum of the total alkalinity in the marine tank. Here we have the hydrogen ions, and this is outside the marine tank. Here's the water. Now I add some acid to the marine tank, two hydrogen ions, acid, I add that to the, mother, ma, the marine water. What happens now? That depends on the pH in the environment, and that is the clue here. If I have a pH around 8, these hydrogen ions will not be absorbed by the hydrogen carbonate ions when they are around pH 8, at least not all of them, because the buffered capacity of the hydrogen carbonate is bad at pH 8. So we add two hydrogen ions. No, we add three. Okay, more pedagogical. I add three hydrogen carbonate, I three hydrogen ions, I add to the water, and the pH is around eight in the water. What happens now? Only one maybe is absorbed by the alkalinity ion, and we have two hydrogen ions left that will lower the pH. Okay, now we have a lower pH in the water. We have pH 7.5. At 7.5, the hydrogen carbonate ions are very good at absorb hydrogen ions. The buffered capacity is excellent at a pH 7.5 and lower concerning the hydrogen carbonate ions. So now I will add acid again. The pH is now 7.5. Here we have the water, we have the alkalinity. I add three hydrogen ions form of hydrogen chloride acid or whatever. Now, two of them at least, maybe all of them, will be absorbed, absorbed, sorry for my bad English, by the alkalinity, and only one is left in the water. So the pH decrease will not be so much. The alkalinity is contributed, it's thrown away, it's absorbed. So now we have just this alkalinity left, but the pH is almost not changed at all, thanks to the alkalinity. Now I will add a hydrogen ion more, okay? The alkalinity is very good buffered capacity at this low pH around 7, 7.5. So now both hydrogen ions will be observed of the alkalinity. So the pH has not changed anything, but the alkalinity is depleted. Now I will add one more hydrogen ion and one more. Now, the alkalinity is totally depleted. What happens now if I will add a further acid? I will add a little more acid now. I have no alkalinity. It's consumed. I add a little more acid. I take a strong acid. <laughs> what happens now? All the acid will de uh, decrease the pH very much because we have no alkalinity ions that can absorb the hydrogen ions. They don't exist anymore because we have already used them. So now the pH will go very steep down if you add further acid. 
And this is what happens if you have a water with no alkalinity at all. The pH goes up and down, but if you have alkalinity in the water, that will be uh, inhibited. The pH fluctuations, and especially in the low pH area, where the hydrogen carbonate is very good as a buffer capacitor. What pH do we have in the water if we have no alkalinity at all? We have added so much acid, so all the alkalinity is consumed, but not more. Then we have pH 4.2, and that's the reason why we go down to pH 4.2, around maybe 4.5, when we want to titrate out the alkalinity, when we measure the alkalinity in, for instance, alkatronic. Thank you for listening.